What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John and we have very exciting DC news to talk about today, but first let's start off with Zack Snyder's Justice League. We have new official images from the film, and they look pretty cool. So we have an image of Steppenwolf who looks so much better than he did in Justice League. Then we have Darkseid, I'm loving the look. Then we have Flash putting his hand up, I'm assuming he's running through the speed force. And then finally we have Darkseid shooting his Omega Beams. In Atlantis, I always thought the Omega Beams were badass and seeing it in this image, I I'm absolutely loving it. So cool. It's crazy how this film is five days away. I mean, the journey has just been absolutely incredible, and I can't wait to see this film. But in other news, we knew the Batman would wrap filming sometime in March, and today is that day. Yes, guys, the Batman has officially wrapped filming. Director Matt Reeves confirmed this on his Twitter by posting this picture and using the caption, hashtag last day, hashtag the Batman. Jeffrey Wright has also officially confirmed that the Batman has rap filming, and he also teased that he's coming back in this Batman universe. Which, sure, of course he's going to be back. Number one, this Batman universe created by Matt Reeves, it's been rumored to be getting a trilogy, which I do think is going to happen. But also we have the upcoming officially titled GCPD spin-off HBO Max series, and he'll probably appear in that too. But anyway, The Batman 2022 has officially wrapped filming. That's just awesome news. Now there won't be any more setbacks or delays in filming. They filmed all of it. Amazing. The film is still slated for a March 4th, 2022 release date. Hopefully it sticks to that release date and doesn't get delayed any further. All they got to do is work on post-production right now and get this film out. So hopefully we get to see this thing on March 4th, 2022. And out of all of the upcoming announced superhero movies, Marvel and DC, The Batman is my number one most anticipated. I am so hyped for this movie. I remember when I was at DC Fandom and I saw this teaser trailer, I was like, hell yeah, I was, I was losing my mind because it looked freaking amazing. I mean, you got Robert Pattinson as Batman, which, you know, I used to be one of those people, oh, he was the sparkly Twilight dude. If you're one of those people, actually watch his films. He's a great actor. He's one of the best working actors today. Easy. And he's playing Batman. He's going to crush the role. He has the potential to be the best Batman ever. You got Matt Reeves, who's a really good director. I liked War for the Planet of the Apes. I like Cloverfield. The dude can direct, and I'm looking forward to seeing his take on Batman. The film's plot just came straight out of a Fincher film. David Fincher is one of my favorite directors, and this just feels like a Fincher film. It feels darker than the entire Nolan trilogy. This movie looks practical. Jeffrey Wright confirmed that this film is going to have more practical effects than CGI, which not only makes it look like a real film, but it also makes the action and the effects more grounded, more realistic, more believable. You know, nowadays CGI could be used really lazily. Practical effects take a lot of work and dedication, and the fact that Matt Reeves is working hard to make this film look great and realistic, bravo Matt Reeves, have all the respect in the world for you. Matt Reeves is promising a detective style story. In the movies, we haven't really seen Batman become the world's greatest detective, and this is going to be the real first detective Batman story, and I just love that. Paul Dano is the Riddler. Awesome casting. He's a really good actor. See Love and Mercy if you haven't. Really great performance. I mean, just everything about this film I'm so hyped up for. Michael Giacchino is the composer of this movie. He's one of my favorite composers. His Batman theme from the screen test was amazing. I don't think anyone will top Danny Elfman's definitive Batman score, but Michael Giacchino can make it really good. Based on the vulgar set photos and what Robert Pattinson has been saying about hoping to have an R rating for this film, this film has a really good chance of being R rated, which I really hope it is. It'd be the first film, Batman film, to be rated R. You could really 
push the boundaries, go darker, go deeper into the mentalities of the villains, show more gore, more violence, I think it'd be really badass. And it'd be a great way to differentiate from the other Batman films, saying that this is its own thing, new thing, and it's going to be way different. Of course, it doesn't need an R rating, but I'd love to see one for Batman. So I'm so hyped for the Batman. I'm really hyped for Blade, for Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, The Flash. But, you know, the Batman just really took me by surprise with that first trailer and got me so excited for it. Can't wait to see this thing. Hopefully, March 2022. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me in the comments down below, are you excited for the Batman? Subscribe. That will be all for me. And remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.